Welcome back. Let's dive into the next topic of the Android attack service, exported services. This topic is again related to the inter-process communication within Android and is quite similar to exported activities. So if you want more details about the export attack in the Android manifest or about the Android activity manager, I would also recommend to watch the previous video. But for now, let's dive into exported services. So what is an Android service? What is an Android service? A service is an application component representing either an application desire to perform a longer running application while not interacting with the user, so something running on the background, or to supply functionality for other applications to use. And again, I would refer you to the official Android documentation about the possibilities with services, but it is quite limited. You can start a service, you can stop a service, but there are quite a few different types of services. And the OWASP testing guide, as we referred to in the previous video, if you want to know how to test services with some examples, also look into this testing guide. But for now, I want to give you a few details and also a demo about the same Android Goat app. So first, exploitation. How can you exploit an exported service? You can do this by building another application and then call this service, or we can call this service directly if we already have access to the device via the Android Activity Manager. So the start service is the parameter you need to use in this case, and then the class of the service. And there are some other useful comments you can run on a device like dumpsys and am help to get a little bit more examples what you can do with a service. So let's try this on a device. First, make sure again you have a device running and you have this Android Goat application installed. And within your machine or your VM, make sure you're connected via ADB. And then we can start with ADB shell am help grab service might be useful to see what the options are. So there is an option start service, start foreground service, stop service. But for now, what we would like to do is start service. So ADB shell am start service. But the first question is, is there any service? Of course. So we should start with the static analysis first. Is there any service? Yes, there is one service in this Android Goat application, if we check again with JEDX, and this service has a label exported is true, and the name of the service is download invoice server. So if you watched the previous exploitation, then you could already see on the protected screen, there was a download invoice bus button calling this service. What we can do, we just copy the name again of this service, and then let's paste this name. Don't forget to put a forward slash between the package name, the dot, and the class name. And now let's try if we can start a service. First time we got an error, app in the background UID nil. So in this case, it means probably we just need to start the app. So now we started the app and we can try the same again. Now we don't get any error, service created, invoice is being downloaded. So this example is quite simple because this service does not need any input, but the idea is the same. You just search for exported, and then you need some details. In this case, there are no details, so we can directly start the service. So that was in short how you can exploit an exported service. So this was in short how you can exploit an exported service. So hope to see you in the next video.